Hey, it's Mike from Power BI Tips. We're going to go through using the ellipsis on visuals. The ellipsis is found in the upper right hand corner of the visuals, denoted by the three little dots here. If we move over to this page, you can see the different versions of the ellipsis on both the legacy version of icons and the current version of icons. The current version of icons look this way on the right hand side as of July 2018. The demo of the ellipsis looks like this. We have on the left hand side, we have two different bar charts. The first bar chart is ordered by dates and by some number value like sales. If you click the ellipsis, you'll get a list value here, export data, show data, or spotlight. If you spotlight on something, you can then see the spotlight on that particular visual. It highlights only that visual and nothing else. Clicking the ellipsis again, you can say show data. It'll give you a narrowed view of the data. It'll give you all of the visual with the bars and the data down below. You can toggle the direction of that by clicking the switch mode here. So if you click on this icon in the upper right hand corner, you can then rotate the data from the bottom to the right hand side, like that. If you click back to the report, we can then check this out on the other report. This report has categorical values on the left hand side and values on the right. Clicking the ellipsis, you'll have a couple more options here. You'll be able to sort descending or ascending by a particular column. So if you click the ellipsis and sort by the order quantity, it'll sort in ascending order from touring bikes up to handlebars in this example. Again, clicking on the ellipsis, you can sort in descending as well, and it'll now sort in descending from the largest quantity all the way down. Finally, you can sort by the subcategory, and then this will put the items in either alphabetical order or reverse alphabetical order. Again, changing from sorting to ascending. The last feature you can do here is you can click on the export data. Clicking on export data will bring you up a prompting menu where you can download the summarized data, meaning aggregated form, or you can download the underlining data, which is everything or every single record. You do have some limitations there. You aren't able to download everything. And then you get the option of picking whether it's in a CSV or an Excel format. Clicking on export would then download that file to your local computer. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow for more great Power BI Tips content. For the theme generators, go to Power BI Tips slash themes, or layouts, lingo, or through the toolbox. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for more great quality and content video.